All right, so this says five, but I didn't pay five. It was four dollars. So are these things any good? Will this make my cheap knife, cheap garbage knife, low-grade steel that goes dull instantly any good? And if it does, then why am I buying an expensive knife with better steel when I can just carry this in my back pocket and sharpen my knife all day? So, let's start with a real crappy mossy oak. This was a dollar. Okay. Yeah, did you see that? Spring assist. Wrist spring. All right. Oh my God! Look how oh. This is this knife is not sharp. Oh my God! All right. So let's see. Remember, this is a Ozark Trail piece of crap knife, low grade steel, made in China. Um. We're going to try to make this knife razor sharp, you know, like your more expensive ones. So let's show that it doesn't cut like it's razor sharp. Um, whoops. It's obviously a fluke. There's no way. All right. So I'll be silly. This is a struggling to cut the paper. It's having a severe issues cutting this paper. Look at that. It's severe issues. The paper is just cutting right away. So, so we're going to try to see if we can get this thing to cut like a razor. Because this is an Ozark Trail uh, garbage knife. Uh, so we want to try to sharpen it so it cuts paper like a razor. See how it's not cutting this paper any good. Uh, you know, every time I, you know, the, the paper keeps... Falling, falling away, because um, it's just the knife is just pushing it. Okay, so, okay, so, um, uh, yeah, see how dull this knife is? That was our trail. Um, uh, uh, all right, so maybe when we want to see if this thing will dull the knife, because, uh, what just hell just happened here? This is supposed to be crap steel, Ozark Trail. Uh, you notice how it struggled to, uh, now, you know what happened is uh, this thing must have glue on it and it just, it just pulled the hair out. That's what probably just happened. Yeah, that's, that's what happened because Ozark Trail, this, this is, knife was only a dollar and, you know, when you buy these, there's, there's, there, there's no way it's razor sharp. Because it was only a dollar. There's, there's no way this knife is sharp enough to shave with or anything. Um, so now let's try to get it sharp enough to, to shave with this, right? Because it, it, it's crap steel. There's... What the hell is this on here? I don't know why I'm cutting away from myself because this this thing is extremely extremely dull uh, crap steel. Uh, if it slipped and hit me, it would it would probably just break or something. All right. Let's 
plastic is really putting up a fight on this knife because it's the it's an Ozark Trail, very low grade steel. Doesn't even say what kind of steel it is. And it's probably 440 stainless, real crap, you know. So We want to sharpen this knife enough so it can like cut this like it's a like a razor. See how it's not it's not doing it right now. It's just you know it, it's just pushing the plastic out of the way. Okay, so we want to try sharpen this so that it can cut that like a razor. Okay, so we got coarse and fine. Pull this way. So what do we want to do? We want to do fine. Yeah. All right. Are you supposed to put like uh, real good pressure on this? Because you want to get the tip. I don't know how to do a tip. How do you get it? How do you sharpen a tip area? That was enough for it to get it to cut paper. It seems to be struggling to cut paper. I don't know, man. It's, it's, it doesn't appear to be cutting paper. That's not even, that's just like tearing it. What the hell? Knife appears to have gotten duller. Huh. Huh. Am I not doing this right? Pull. Oh. Should have zoomed into that edge, right? Huh. Uh huh. Okay. Smart paper that just that just cut real good. And that ripped. I don't know if I have any more paper. Probably the worst thing you can do with a knife is cut paper, especially cardboard, because that's what dulls it real fast. I mean, it feels really sharp, but it's just like pushing the hair off my arm or something. I don't even know what's going on with that. Let's see if I got a bigger piece of that receipt right here. Now the paper is smaller. Right. Oh man. Oh, did it 
stole the knife. I don't know if it dulled the knife or what. But, you know. Well, there you go. A long ass video of how to sharpen a piece of junk on a Zark knife that can't even cut hair off my arm or shred a receipt. Yeah, so you should spend the 60 bucks for the Belar Kershaw instead of this. Because that, that Kershaw has got the spring. The mechanical spring. Where this, you got the wrist spring. I trust my wrist spring. That'll work forever. Sometimes. Alright. I don't know the UPC for this is. Is this? Here's your directions. Cut. You're ridiculous. How does it feel that I don't have anybody to stare at here? <laughs> There's no one here to stare at. How do you even deal with that? Cut. What? Cut.